Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a good one. I'm so excited for today's video. So let me give you the backstory. A few months ago, my husband and I were doing some grocery shopping at Trader Joe's and just across the street from Trader Joe's was this new store that we'd never seen before and it's called Pop Shelf. And so we were very curious and we ended up finding our way into the store. Do you guys have that store where you live? It's kind of like an adult dollar store or an adult five below. Everything is really inexpensive. And so a few months ago when John and I ended up walking in there, I gravitated to the beauty section and there was this brand that I saw that really kind of caught my eye called Believe Beauty. I know it's kind of been floating around here and there. I've seen other people kind of briefly talk about it. I haven't really seen anybody review it or put it on, but I've seen it in like other people's favorites videos. So I'm very excited. And I was pumped when I saw that they had a whole section of Believe Beauty. So yesterday I ended up finding my way back in there and I just grabbed, I just started piling everything into my cart and we did some damage. I have a full face right in here, almost a full face of Believe Beauty products. So this is the receipt, very, very affordable. So I'm very excited to see how it performs on the face because if you are on a budget or you are even a beginner with makeup, this could be a really good option not to break the bank. So the most expensive product that I bought is their mascara, a whopping $5.25 was the most expensive product that I have. So I have almost a full face here, if not a full face, and I spent a whole $43. So you can get it done on a budget. So if you are into this kind of a thing, affordable makeup, I am a drugstore girl through and through. I love dipping into Sephora and kind of playing with the good, but let me tell you, drugstore has always had my heart. I am a drugstore girl through and through you'll never pry it out of my hand. So if this performs, and we will see if it does, this could be a really good option. So if you like this kind of a thing, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would love to engage with you guys and connect, but uh, yeah, with that, let's get into the video. Okay, so I have everything laid out in front of me. We got primer, we got foundation. So I picked up their primer. They had a couple of different options. I'm gonna tell you exactly how much everything costs and break it down right up here in the corner. This primer was $5. This is their, I picked up the Pretty in Prime Stay Put Primer. Um, so let's crack into this. I already moisturized my face. So this claims to be a Colorless, silky face primer helping to smooth the look of skin, extend in the wear of your makeup, and works with oil complexions, oh, works with all complexions, works with all complexions to create the perfect base for flawless foundation. So, let's see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let's place it on the face. This feels very weird not to be going in with my regular e.l.f. poreless putty primer but today is all Believe Beauty and I am very excited to see how this works. I want my makeup to stay all day today. I'm considering doing a wear test or maybe inserting just some pictures to see how it lasts. It does have a slight tack to it, not anything like the e.l.f. Power Grip, but it does feel a little, a little sticky, which is good. That's gonna make everything kind of stay in place, so. I like how this feels. It kind of feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. We'll see. So we're gonna go in with foundation. They actually had a pretty good uh, shade range. Obviously there's no way to test to see if this is going to match. I picked up what I thought would be the best. This might be a little dark, but this is really nice. This packaging, you guys, this is a glass bottle for $5 and the packaging is fantastic. The bottle is beautiful. I am I'm a little shocked at how good this looks. So let's see if it performs. Oh, you pull, you don't twist. Noted. Okay, so we're gonna go in. I'm gonna do one side of my face with a sponge, one side with a brush, just to see how this works. I actually have no idea what kind of a finish this is. I don't know if it's a matte finish or if it's dewy. It's a skin finish. I'm all about skin finish. I like that. A little bit down. Okay, so it's kind of, it's kind of runny, but let's go in with a brush. Hopefully this shade will work. Oh, okay. There's actually not, 
really a scent to it, which is nice and surprising. I think this is actually going to be a good match for me, you guys. I'm cautiously optimistic. Let's see how this works, but this is going on very nicely. I'm trying not to get too excited too quick because this could be hot garbage. So we will see. But so far, um, what? Can we see that? What's happening? Why does this look so good? That was nice. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I think it's more of like a light to medium coverage. Let's see if we can build this up a little bit. But when they say skin finish, this looks like my skin. It doesn't feel like I have a mask on my face. Let's see if I can build this up a little bit. Okay, so it is slightly buildable, you guys. What is going on? Why does this look so good for $5? What? Okay, let's go in on the other side with a sponge. So I'll be able to tell right away which side I prefer, sponge or brush. Oh, do you see that, you guys? This foundation is wild. I think I like it with the sponge better. Why do I like it with the sponge? I don't know. Let's let's layer it up and see if we can build this up a little bit more with a sponge on those problem areas. Okay, so you guys, this is really a natural finish, okay? This is not a matte foundation. It has a little bit of sheen to it. It feels and looks like skin. Absolutely agree with that claim on the bottle. This is be and it and it layers up very nicely. What is going on? I'm very excited. This is good, you guys. Okay, but of course we're gonna wait to see. I think I am gonna do a little bit of a wear test just to see how it holds up throughout the day. Because again, this could be straight up hot mess express later. Um, today is supposed to be like in the 90s here in Dallas, so you know we'll see how it works. But I think I like this foundation with a sponge. Okay, next we have a concealer or covered liquid concealer. Again, doesn't tell you if it is a full coverage or what, but let's see. Let's go into it. I don't know if this shade is going to work. Feeling with the doe foot applicator and looking at it on the product, I think this is gonna have a sheen to it. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see how this works. Okay, so I probably could have gone with a lighter color, but we'll make this work. This kind of feels dark. So this, right off the bat, I can see this is more of a, a lighter coverage. This is more sheer. This is not bad. It's definitely more of a sheer concealer than it is full coverage. But I will say that it's doing the trick. Let me see if I can, this might be, let me see if I can kind of intensify it a little bit more in my dark spots. I don't think it's going to be my most favorite concealer, but I can see this being really, really nice, like on a very light makeup day, kind of like a no makeup makeup day. Um, it's doing something, but it's not full coverage. So if you like full coverage, you're probably not gonna like this but i actually don't mind it and this concealer is four dollars so i don't think it is a bad product for four dollars at all okay i did not grab a powder and it's not because they didn't have it i just completely forgot to get a powder so i'm going to set my under eyes with another very affordable product so i'm just gonna go in with my wet and wild bear focus powder Okay, under eyes are set. Let's continue on. And they did have a duo contour stick. This reminds me of the NYX Wonder Stick. Um, they have a, I guess a concealer side or highlighting side. Is this a highlighter? 
dual ended contour stick. It has a light side and a dark side. So this contour stick was $5. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it's very creamy. It's very creamy. So, so let's just go straight in. I typically would go in on a brush first, but let's just see how this performs. Okay. They had a couple different shades. This is definitely creamy. I'm hoping this doesn't feel like oil afterwards, but definitely more creamy. I feel like the Wet n Wild or the NYX uh, Wonder Stick is more waxy. This is straight up like creamy. <laughs> I'm curious to see, is this a highlighter or is it a concealer? Okay, this is more of like a concealer, I think. But, I think it's more of a concealer, I'm not sure. But we're gonna put some here. It could be a highlighter, I don't know. It's not like shiny or anything. Let's put it in the middle of the nose, like that. Okay, let's blend this out. Okay, you guys, so contour is on. It is definitely more of a creamy, more emollient uh, product. So it kind of like shears out more is what I'm trying to say. I like it. I don't think it's a bad product. It puts, it laid down some color. I probably could have gone with a deeper shade to kind of stand out a little bit more. I'm unsure if this is a highlighter or a concealer, um, but it did give me a little bit more of like you know, some brightness right there. So you guys, I think for $5, this is not bad. If you don't want to spend the, what is it? Like $12 on the NYX Wonder Stick for $5, this can get the job done. Okay, so now we're going to go into a blush. They had a couple of different shades of blush. This looks really pretty, you guys. This one is in the shade Amore, and this is what it looks like. They, You have a blush and a bit of a sheen highlighter situation right here very very pretty and this blush was also one of the more expensive products right in line with the mascara at five dollars and 25 cents so let's put a little bit of blush i'm gonna go into the blush side first that's actually not bad either it is not crazy like bam pigmented like maybe a nars blush would be but it's laying down the color there. I actually like when I can build up a blush, but this shade, you guys, on deeper skin, more tan, deeper skin, this is beautiful. It's not really going on patchy. It's not bad. Again, it's just not as pigmented as I maybe thought it would be. I prefer a blush to be able to be built up to its highest intensity than to be like, oh my God, I have nothing but color and now I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm gonna top over it with this kind of highlighter shade just on top of where I put that blush. Okay, actually this is very pretty. <laughs> that highlighter shade though, um, it does do something. It is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of sitting on top of my skin, which is kind of like accentuating some texture right there. Um, but again, you guys, $5 for a blush and you kind of get two in one, it's not bad. Okay, I think we need some brows. So I do have a brow product. I was very pleased to see that they had some brow options and it's really, again, very nice packaging, you guys. You have a spoolie on one end and you have, wow, okay. So <laughs> I didn't check to see what kind of a product this would be. Um, is this a sharpener? Can you sharpen this? I don't know. Let's just see how this works. I'm going to brush my brows up. I got the shade, it's a brow defining pencil. I got the shade dark brown and this brow pencil was $4. So with these products, you guys, I'm seeing a very common theme, um, very creamy. I am gonna tell you right off the bat, I don't like this. <laughs> this is way too, this I can see 
because it's so creamy, this is going to slide all over your face, I think. I could be wrong, but it's very, very creamy. I need my brow products to be creamy, but yet waxy so that I can lay the product down without fear that it's going to slide and melt all over my face. And I just get a bad feeling that this is going to do that just because it's so emollient. Also, I'm not a fan of this product because it's too thick. If you have thin eyebrows, it's really, really hard to get a precise look. All right, moving into eyes, I picked up a, an eyeshadow palette. The six pan eyeshadow palette is $5 and I got the palette called Sultry Sunset. Very, very pretty. Look at these shades, you guys. Look how pretty that is. So we're just gonna keep it really simple. Just kind of want to see how these products are going to lay down. It's, it's laying down product not badly. The shade is not as pigmented as some other ones that I have. Okay, I'm gonna go into this deep plum shade here. But I do need a bit of a precision guide. You guys, it's not patchy, so I'm very su I'm surprised. Like it's not going on and skipping. You know, like sometimes you'll find some like bald areas. Okay, so you see what? <laughs> I take it back, you guys. Um, this builds. Okay, so let's go in now to this red shade because I want to play with all of them. Let's see if I can take it. Oh, that's pretty. That's gonna be intense. Let's take it on the middle part of. I'm gonna be probably eating a lot of my words in this video, this is a first impression, but when I said that I thought these weren't pigmented, I'm going to take it back. I need a clean brush and I'm going to just blend all of these and fuse them together. And this is, okay, so here's the thing though, here's what I'm gonna notice, okay, so right away. It lays down, this red one at least, it lays down, but as soon as you fluff it up and you kind of blend, it kind of disappears a little bit, which is not bad, um, but it means that if you lose pigment or if you lose the, the product, you're gonna have to go back in and rebuild it. Like this one, I just swept it away and it's almost disappeared. So it went down really shiny, but as I'm blending it now with a brush, it's kind of disappearing. So, Let's go into this shade right here, this champagne color. It's a pretty color. I'm just not sure for $5 um, if these are gonna perform. You might do better spending a dollar or two more on something like this from Makeup Revolution. You guys, I don't know what happened to my, I don't know what happened to my eyeshadow. It's like it all disappeared. How strange. Let's try this mascara and then after that I am going to line and put some falsies on. High Drama Fiber Mascara. This could be terrifying, you guys. I don't really like fiber mascaras because if it's not a good product, it's gonna end up like getting into my eyeballs later. Okay, let's see it gives you a false lash effect. So I'm gonna tell you that this actually is sep, oh, I got out my lid. This is separating nicely. It's not really adding a ton of length. It's giving some length, but it looks like a very natural eye. It's not bad. All right, so I'm gonna put some liner on and some falsies, and then I'll be back, and I think I have just maybe like one more product. So I think that's lips, so let's do that and then we'll be right back. Um, let's put on the last product that we have, which is their lipstick. This is, this is the Satin Crush Lipstick in Moroccan Spice, and this lipstick was $2. So let's crack into this and see, and then I'm going to, gosh, oh, got it. Okay, let's, and then I'm gonna break down all of the products and tell you what I think was worth it, what I think was not. So 
This is their lipstick. This is a very pretty shade. Let's swatch it real quick and see what this looks like. Ooh, okay, that's pretty. Let's give it a go. I probably should line my lips, right? You know what? We're going to do a hack that I've been seeing all over Instagram. We're going to line our lips with powder. Let's just go for it. Let's just let's just go for it. I'm going to go into this Makeup Revolution palette and I'm going to take this brown shade and we're going to line with eyeshadow because I've been seeing people do this all over and people are like, you need to be lining with eyeshadow, not lip liner. And that's what I love about makeup. There are no rules to makeup. Okay, I don't know the reasoning behind lining with eyeshadow, but we did it. And so let's go into this lipstick and see. Ugh. Okay. That, that eyeshadow makes me look like I have a mustache. <laughs> actually not bad I like this color I didn't think I was gonna like this as soon as I swatched because sometimes nude lipsticks on darker complexions just looks like you have white out on your mouth if they're too pale or the undertone doesn't work but I actually like this I want to try out some other other ones now let me just set my face I didn't see if they had a setting spray I'm just gonna go in with my Milani make it last but that is where we're gonna land right now. And I think I'm going to come back at the end of the day and give you guys my final thoughts and see how everything held up. Right now it is 10, 16 a.m. So I'm gonna come back later with my final review. I'm not gonna touch anything up with powder or anything. Um, and I'll give you guys my final thoughts in a few hours. Uh, this is like a few days later from my original <laughs> review on the Believe Beauty products. I lost my footage giving you guys my final thoughts on all of the goodies that we got from Believe Beauty. So it's okay, here's the silver lining is that I've been able to play with this makeup for a few days and I have some like solid concrete opinions about these products. So I'm gonna speed through it in rapid fire because we don't wanna be here all day. This video is already 10 years long. So um, here is a breakdown of everything that I tried, starting with the primer. I like this. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like it did make my makeup last all day long. I've been using it all week. I felt like it didn't break apart my foundation. It's not oily. It's not stinky. There's no scent. Um, it does give a bit of tack so that your foundation does last all day. I like this for the price. It's a good one. But the sweetheart of this whole makeup line is this foundation. You guys, this is like, dare I say, one of my new favorite foundations like it is going to stay on my desk and be on repeat i have worn this all week long i love it is so good my face does not feel heavy it gives good coverage without being overly uh cakey at all it's just such a beautiful formula for every day if you are a beginner you're gonna love this because it makes your skin just look like skin but it evens everything out i don't know this is just beautiful grab one for you grab one for your sister grab one for your mom so good. Concealer, I do like this concealer. At first I wasn't sure, but I think this is gonna be a really good uh, concealer for an everyday thing. If you don't want full coverage under eyes every single day, this is a good one. It gives very light coverage, but your skin still feels like skin. Uh, for my under eyes that are aging, I have some fine lines. It didn't crease, it didn't cake, it didn't settle too much. I did have to set it with powder, but it's a great, beautiful formula. I like this. Okay, let's talk about this duo contour stick. So at first I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure. I do like this, you guys. I think for an everyday makeup look, um, it gives a good amount of warmth. It blends beautifully. So if you're a beginner with makeup wanting to dabble into cream products, I think you're really gonna like this because it's really beginner friendly in my opinion it blends like a dream and then you guys this actually is a highlighter actually let me take that back i think it's more of like a brightener so i've just been placing it on the high points of my cheek down my nose and it does such a beautiful job at kind of accentuating those high points without being like bam you're wearing a highlighter it's just something about this i really 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 like okay Unfortunately, not everything was a home run from what I got. Talking about this brow pencil, I kind of already knew immediately I wasn't gonna like it. But let's start with the positive. I really do like the spoolie on this. 
I feel like it's a good spoolie, but the formula itself was a pass for me. The tip of this is just too chunky for me to kind of be able to fill in those brows and give those hair-like strokes. Um, and then the formula itself kind of just moves and slides around. I feel like uh, if you knock your face, your eyebrows are just gonna be all over the place. So this was a no for me, unfortunately. Uh, and then this eyeshadow, I really wanted to like it, but having worn it a few days, this is gonna just be a pass. The colors are so beautiful. Um, I did play around with it wearing a primer. I did play around with it using a concealer and it just does not work for me for whatever reason. I couldn't get it to stay on my lids. Throughout the day, it was as if like it just muddied together. I lost pigment. Um, and then for what I just looked like I had black eyes after after the day was over it just this was just not not it for me Okay, the blush the blush. I like I don't know if everybody will like this I like it because I like the formula. It doesn't go on patchy. It doesn't go on crazy pigmented You kind of have to build it up The only thing that people might not like about this is this shiny section, which I don't I don't mind it too much. I do feel like it sits on top of my skin, accentuates a little bit of my texture, but when you use it both together, I don't know, it just does something really, really beautiful to the skin. Um, so I think for the price, you kind of get two products in one. I like this. Okay, mascara, you guys, I'm surprised that I like this so much. At first I was like, I don't like fiber mascara. And I still don't, but this one is good. I, I've been able to wear it every single day and can confirm that it does not fall apart. It does not fall into my eyeballs and irritate my, my eyes at all. Um, it doesn't give a whole lot of length or a whole lot of volume, but it is quite black. I'm not wearing any falsies, but I feel like I have some color on my lashes and some product on there. And I really like this just for an everyday, throw on some mascara and run out the door. I do like this quite a bit. And then ending with this lipstick, I've been wearing this every day and I really, really like it. Again, for me and a nude lipstick, it's kind of hit and miss. A lot of the nude lips that work on some people just don't work on my lips because I'm darker complexion and not every not every nude is for everybody. This works for me, especially if I line my lips with a darker lip liner. This works beautifully being able to smudge it in. I really like it. I like the formula. It doesn't settle into my lines. It's more of a matte satin finish. It's very comfortable and it's just a good everyday lipstick. So that is where we are going to end. I think I covered everything. I really enjoyed doing this. I really do like doing like a one brand review on all the products. So if you're into this kind of thing, let me know by clicking the like button. And if there's a brand that you want me to just research and review across the board, let me know in the comments. This was so fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. God bless you. I hope you have a fantastic day, whatever you're doing. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video.